Hi friends, today I'm going to be making Japanese egg bolo baby cookies. This easy to make and tiny cookies are very popular snack among kids. Let's get started. First, separate egg yolk and white. We don't use egg white because it binds ingredients tight, creating a tough texture that we don't want in these cookies. Save the egg white for the pancakes or macarons. Add sifted powdered sugar. Whisk together until well combined. At this point, whisk well to aerate the egg yolk and sugar to make the airy and light texture. Add whole milk and whisk well. Next, add dried milk. Dried milk add milky flavor without adding any moisture. And this is the signature flavor of this cookie. We should not add any excess moisture to keep it dry and crunchy. Switch to a spatula and mix to combine. Add potato starch and mix until just incorporated. Potato starch has no gluten, so it's not easy to come together. It doesn't seem to make the dough, it looks very dry, but do not worry. It comes together sooner or later. And do not ever add any moisture to it if you feel it is too dry. Mix by hand and knead to make the dough in one lump for the last step. Take out the dough onto the working surface and knead to make a nice smooth dough. Divide the dough into 3 or 4 and roll it out to make it into a rope about 1 cm in diameter. Cut into 1 cm. If the dough sticks to your scraper, just dust the potato starch every once in a while. Roll the dough into a round shape on your palm and line them on a baking tray lined with parchment paper. It has a nice crunch when you put it into your mouth, but quickly melt in your mouth. Leave a space in between. Pop it in the oven for 10 minutes, rotate halfway through. This round shaped cookie is not easy to finish baking with a crunchy texture. I found how to make a crunchy cookie when I run the pastry shop. Take it out from the oven, cool it down, and bake it again. Yes, we bake it twice. This step will make your cookie crunchy and melt in your mouth texture. Trust me, you can get a crunchy cookie when you bake the dough twice. And then leave it in the oven and let it dry completely. But keep in mind to bake at a lower temperature. It will be best if you didn't make it brown. Once it cooled down, let's wrap it up into small gifts. Take a small piece of cardboard, make a hole on top and write a message like arigato or thank you to your friends and families. Stick a tie into the hole and make a tag to your little gift. And close the back with it. There you have it. Easy and takes no time but looks pretty. Make a double or triple batch to spread your love. Happy holidays everyone and I will see you soon. Bye!